Hello guys, good day to all, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest analysis for this uh, Tuesday to Thursday, December 12 to 14, 2023 and this is our English version for you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Abuitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarani Sur. And we would like also to uh, promote the uh, Comunidad Climate Action Center. Those LGUs or companies that are willing to have their own Climate Action Center, just click on the banner of Comunidad at our website for you to answer uh, on their Google form. Okay, and then uh, upon submitting, Mr. Aaron Cabasal will be the one who will reply back to you and uh, explain further all about this climate action center so it's been used already by uh, various uh, lgus around the philippines it's a very great tool to have an early warning against uh, uh, weather and climate related systems okay so that's the uh, comunidad climate action center now let's begin with our update here's the latest graph set for today tuesday until tomorrow wednesday and everything is still quiet across the philippine islands we have the uh, northeasterly wind flow, which has shifted from the easterly, so natural uh, trade winds during this time of the year. And uh, it brings some uh, gentle winds across uh, most parts of the country with uh, lesser rainfall. But some isolated thunderstorms will still be expected in some areas of the country. And uh, the northeast monsoon will again approach the extreme northern parts of Luzon, so it will be windy and wavy uh, when we speak of the uh, sea around these areas. So it will be uh, moderate to uh, rough in uh, most parts of extreme northern Luzon as the northeast monsoon approaches within the next 24 hours. And we have a new LPA that formed outside of PAR. This is LPA 91W, but it has a low chances of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next uh, 24 hours. We are going to observe this because uh, some of the computer models are uh, developing this into a tropical cyclone, but uh, the probability remains at low uh, levels. Okay, so we still don't know. The uncertainty is, remains high. And uh, we will just give you the newer updates once the system has become active. But so far, it remains uh, a non-threat to our country so far, okay? And if we take a look at the uh, uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page, so it's all clear across the Philippine Islands with some isolated thunderstorms or isolated, isolated rain showers in uh, some areas of the country. And here's LPA-91W struggling to uh, develop to the south of Guam near the equator. And uh, if we take a look at the zoom in solar animation, so these are low level uh, cloudiness, mid level, which is moving from the Pacific, bringing some uh, partly cloudy skies with some drizzles or light rains expected. And there will be also some smaller thunderstorms expected in uh, these areas affected by the northeasterly trade winds, particularly over Bicol, Visayas, and Mindanao. Now let's take a look at the wind forecast from the European model, courtesy of windy.com. It seems that the northeasterly trade winds will remain the, the dominant uh, wind system across the archipelago with another surge of the northeast monsoon approaching extreme northern zone within the next 24 hours, but it's not yet uh, strong, okay? It's just uh, uh, weak to moderate uh, northeast monsoon and it will affect extreme northern zone through tomorrow. And some remnants of the northeast monsoon will also affect the coastal seaboards of the Bicol region and the eastern Visayas. Not much over the eastern sections of Luzon. So expect some uh, windy conditions of 40 up to 60 kph. And then uh, on Thursday, it will start to weaken once again. And uh, so far, if we take a look until Friday, the winds will again shift from the east across Batanes and down uh, across the eastern sections of uh, Bicol, Eastern Visayas and uh, 
Eastern Mindanao. And here's the LPA that we are uh, observing, 91W. On Friday, uh, the European model is uh, forecasting it to move barely uh, westward. And Saturday, it will uh, remain as a low pressure system, no development whatsoever. And on Sunday, it will be approaching the southern waters of the Philippine Sea. And on Monday, it will weaken as it approach the uh, southernmost part of Mindanao. And on December 19, Tuesday, the circulation has disappeared. So most likely, it will not develop based on the European model. But if we take a look at the American model, it's uh, uh, still forecasting it to develop into a uh, tropical depression or even a tropical storm approaching Karaga. But once it crosses Karaga, it will disappear uh, completely or dissipate, okay? And then uh, it's gone. Some of, of its remnants is likely to form to the west of Palawan on December 19 or Tuesday. So this forecast of more than five days remains highly uncertain, so we're not yet sure. But right now, we are observing LPA 91W. Let's hope it will continue to weaken so that it will not uh, bring lots of rainfall across Mindanao. But uh, for the better side of it, it will uh, generate some good uh, rainwater across the agricultural areas of Mindanao, which is much, much needed during this time of uh, El Nino climate. So uh, there's a plus and cons when it comes to these weather systems. Okay, so there you go. Uh, if you take a look now at the rain forecast from the uh, European model uh, by today, there will be some showers, isolated ones across eastern Visayas, parts of Bicol region, and uh, eastern Mindanao, but these are short-lived results on only light rains. And uh, Wednesday, uh, some uh, light showers will also be expected across the eastern sections of the country. Small thunderstorms over uh, southern Mindanao. And on Thursday, December 14, uh, same weather conditions will be expected. Good weather with some isolated rain showers and uh, thunderstorms will be expected. And on Friday, it's almost the same. More thunderstorms is expected to form over Mindanao. And uh, particularly Davao region and some light showers will be expected across the Bicol region. And this is due to the easterly wind flow. And now let's take a look at the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days until uh, Friday. So the bulk of the rainfall are con concentrated across the eastern seaboards of Cocayan Valley, northern Quezon, eastern uh, coastal areas of the Bicol region, uh, eastern uh, Samar, Eastern uh, Mindanao. Uh, actually, this is uh, just uh, a brief rainfall, nothing uh, serious. Mostly, it will be sunny, windy, and uh, cloudy with uh, passing isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. And we are going to include now a wave forecast. The wave heights for today is from uh, 1 meter to uh, 1.6 meters across the uh, coastal waters of uh, Eastern uh, Philippines from Mindanao up to Luzon, so it is uh, safe to uh, uh, have some fishing activity. Okay, while here of the Bicol region, it's more of a uh, uh, calm and uh, light waves expected. And it's blowing from the east. And on Wednesday, here comes the uh, new surge of the Amihan or the northeast monsoon, so expect uh, waves of up to uh, 2 to 2.5 meters, okay, so it will become rough and dangerous to small sea crafts, as well as on Thursday, uh, the waves will increase to almost 3 meters across the eastern seaboards or coastal waters of the Philippine Islands. So this is common during this time of the year since we have uh, the northeast monsoon. So that will uh, persist until Friday, the return of uh, slightly higher waves. So please take all your precautions, especially along the uh, coastal waters of eastern Philippines. So there you go. That's the latest for this Tuesday. And we will turn 
in the next few days. This is Mike Padua saying stay safe always. Have a great week. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.